You're so close to your breakthrough. Don't you dare give up. Push through it. With what you got left. In that tank. Shout out to the WTC game. We still chosen if you ask him. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. It's always that moment when we're very close to that breakthrough. See, the enemy already tapped into your future. And the enemy knows that you're destined for greatness. The enemy knows that you're pressing towards the mark of the price of the high calling in the name of Jesus. The enemy sees everything that you're doing to get to that next level. And guess what the enemy does? He comes into your mind, your heart, and your spirit and try to make it seem like you ain't even worthy of getting that breakthrough that God has for you. The enemy will get into your mind, into your spirit just to make you feel like you really unchosen out here. Be very, very careful because the enemy can play tricks with your mind. Understand what I'm saying? And you have to understand in this season, chosen ones, it's always when we're at that breaking point of that breakthrough, this is where the attacks are going to happen. Right when you're at that breaking point of that breakthrough, God is getting ready to grant you that breakthrough. Guess what? Here comes the attack of the enemy right in front of your face. But I'm here to tell you right now, you have to learn to stop giving up. We always give up when we are close to that breakthrough. We want to throw in the towel and say, you know what, Lord, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of, amen, putting my all into you, Father God. And every time I put my all into you, Father God, the enemy find a way to attack me. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You go back to the pits of field to where you belong. You got to understand that when, when, when you're getting close to your breakthrough and you're getting close to what God has for you, you got to realize, man, the attacks are coming, whether you like it or not. It's spiritual, spiritual attacks. Hey, Amen. It's all kind of different attacks out here. This is why we're facing spiritual warfare. The enemy want to vex your spirit. The enemy want to provoke your spirit. The enemy works inside of people to go against you. He will come to your best friend. The enemy will come to your family. The enemy will work through your friends. The enemy will work through anybody he got to in order for you not to get to your breakthrough. Do not let him win. Push through it. With a little bit left that you got in that tank. Push through it. God see you running on E. God see, amen, you running out of gas. God see you running out. God said, guess what? Just because you're running out, just because you've been faithful over a few things, I'm going to make you rule over many. Just because you've been seeking my face, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to fill that gas tank up so you can get to your destiny. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below on this 3P today and say, Lord, fill me up. Fill my tank up so I can get to my breakthrough. You got to understand that trouble don't last always, chosen ones. You got to understand as long as you are breathing on this earth, trials and tribulations are going to come from every angle. But you got to learn how to fight back. You got to learn how to push through it. Because you got to go through it in order to get to it. There is no easy route to that breakthrough. Sorry to tell you. I'm telling you what's going on. You just got this new job. You didn't got this new promotion. You didn't got this raise. The enemy going to attack you harder at your job. That's just what it is. That's why you got co-workers hating on you because you're making more money. You're shining bright like a diamond at this whack job. Understand what I'm saying? You're walking through here. You just started the week and they already gave you a raise. You got to understand that the enemy going to attack you from co-workers to the managers, to the assistant managers, to everybody up in there. They're going to come at you because they already knew you destined for greatness. You got to understand when you just got your master's degree, you didn't got your doctor's degree, you didn't got your bachelor's. Hell, you might just have your associate's degree, your little video AA degree, and you'd be surprised at the people that will hate on you, that will have jealous on you. But check this out. You'd be surprised at how many people won't even show up to your own graduation. So what you going to do if nobody show up to your graduation? You ain't going to walk the stage because nobody ain't going to show up.
Devil, you a liar. I'm going to walk that stage with my head held high, with a smile on my face. Because guess what? If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? You got to be strong to be alone. Stop crying to God and saying, Lord, why haven't I received my breakthrough? And start crying out to God and say, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'm going to do it. Doing the good, doing the bad, I'm going to praise your name. Doing the good, doing the bad and the ugly, I'm going to lift your name. To this day, I'm going to praise you. You done got a new position at the church. That it made you minister of music. You didn't got a new position at your church that it made you the head of the usher board. You didn't got a new position at the church, amen, that it made you head of the deacon board. You got to understand that they're going to come and attack you because you're destined for greatness. You became the church clerk, but you know what I mean? God's getting ready to bless you, amen? So you have to understand that the enemy don't like that. The enemy don't want to see you win. The enemy don't want to see you elevate. So the enemy going to attack you. And how did the enemy attack you? He t attacks you through somebody else spiritually. And you question the God, Lord, what, how could this be? This is my, my family. This is my friend. This is my road dog. How could this be, Lord? Because that's what the enemy do. He going to use the people that's closest to you, the people that's around you all the time. That's what the enemy does. Because the enemy don't want you, the enemy don't want you to win. The enemy already tapped into your future already. While you trying to figure it out, guess what? God already worked it out. While you trying to figure out, guess what? The enemy already know that God's plans is getting ready to work out. Ooh, that's deep. Don't you be afraid to put that in the comments below and say, well, I'm trying to figure out the enemy already know that God is getting ready to work it out. So that should make you push through it a little bit more. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have your good days. You're going to have your ups. You're going to have your downs. But do not let nothing stop you from keep pressing forward. You're so close to your breakthrough. You're right there. You can make it. Hell is hard for me too. And I'm one of the greatest motivational speakers to ever live. It's hard as hell for me too. But I'm not going to give up. People showing weird vibes and negative energy towards me. I'm still ain't going to give up. You ain't going to stop me. I'm still pressing, devil. Can care less who like me, who don't like me. I can feel your energy. I know you don't like me. You ain't got to say a word to me. I can feel you. Keep that same energy when I get my breakthrough. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, keep that same energy when God grant me my breakthrough. It's right when you're so close to what God has for you. That's when we give up. Why? You done put all these prayers in over these years. You done put all your faith in God. You done put everything. Uh, um, uh, um, um, you done canceled everything out of your life so you can draw closer to God. And now God is getting ready to give you your breakthrough. You want to give up. You want to surrender back to the devil's kingdom instead of surrendering to God continuously over and over and over again. This is a race, man. Whether you know it or not, you are in a race to get to the kingdom. And if God don't do another thing else for me on this earth, guess what? He has simply done enough. So I'm here to tell you right now, your breakthrough is coming. Keep pushing through it. With a little bit left that you got in that tank. We the chosen ones, baby.